All right, so as you're ready, find a comfortable position where the spine can maintain integrity. So upright, um, not rigid at all. This allows, of course, the lungs to, to fill more fully, the diaphragm to, to move more freely. Gently close your eyes, partially or fully, if that's comfortable. And start by gently placing one or two hands over your heart or somewhere else on the body that is comforting and can serve as a touch point, a symbol of self-love. And, and just receive the weight of your hand or hands, perhaps absorbing the warmth of your hands into that other place of your body. And really soak in this symbol of being there for yourself, a symbol of self-love. And it's as though you're transmitting self-love from your own hand into your heart or other body part, which of course then, as blood circulates throughout the entire being, eventually self-love enters every single cell of your being. And the hand can remain there or go to another position as you like. But now notice how your breath gently caresses you from the inside as you breathe. Notice how the breath gently caresses you. And experience the gentle rhythm of your breathing. And now, if you like, and if this is comfortable, take a moment and allow your heart to gently open, to become receptive. Perhaps imagining or visualizing a flower bud in the heart region. And then just as with time-lapse photography, allowing that bud to gently and slowly and softly open just like a flower opens in the warm sunshine, allowing your heart to open and become receptive. And then ask yourself the following question. What do I need? What do I as a person really, really need? And without grasping or struggling, we're remaining in this very soft, open state. Just allow some replies, some answers, to come to you. What do I need? What do I truly, really need? And what we're getting at here is at the end of a day, if whatever this is hasn't happened, the day doesn't feel complete. Something that needs to happen. Something you need every day. Let the answer be some kind of universal human need, such as the need to feel connected or to be connected to others or to ourselves, a need for peace perhaps or freedom. These are just some examples. What do I need for my day to feel fulfilled?
And then see if you can transform that need, or maybe it's several needs, into a statement of action. Something simple that you could do, that, something that you have control over to attend to that need. So possibilities might be something like, may I allow myself the rest I need? Or may I achieve the level of activity I need? Or may I be kind to myself? Or may I begin to be kind to myself? Or may I know that I belong? May I live in peace is another possibility. Or may I rest in love? So let this be very, very simple. Without actually doing so now, imagine you record this statement or statements on paper. In your mind's eye, imagine writing it down in your own handwriting. See this statement on paper. Finding for yourself whatever language captures the spirit of this wish. Or perhaps it's an attitude. And repeat this wish, this attitude to yourself in your mind as you continue to breathe easily and naturally, maintaining that integrity of spine seeing the words in your own handwriting. Repeating the phrase or phrases gently, softly, and lovingly. Allow these words to be an inclination of your heart, a kind and warm attitude, a gift. So inclining toward your own heart as you might toward a beloved infant or puppy or kitten. Incline toward your own heart. your heart that is in the image of an opening flower bud receives these kind, gentle, soft words just as it would receive a soft rain shower. And now, if you like, perhaps considering a second question. And that is, if I could, what do I need to hear? What would I need to hear from others? Now, this question might take a little extra courage. Our wounded, innocent parts of ourselves might need extra support around this question because we've all been hurt or undercared for at times. 
And here we might need to allow or invite or support ourselves to be a little vulnerable. So inviting that courage in if it's needed. As you consider the question, what words do I need to hear from others? Some examples here might be, I love you. I'm here for you. I'm here with you. You are a good person. So just see if you can open the door of your heart and wait for some words to come. If you could, what words would you like to hear whispered into your ear every day for the rest of your life? Words that when you hear them might make you say, oh, thank you, thank you. Words that would inspire your heart to open with gratitude every time. What are those words? If you could hear them, what would they be? And when you have some words, again, without actually doing so, just imagine yourself in your mind's eye, writing those words down. And if you heard a lot of words, perhaps seeing if you can distill them into a short phrase, a kind of message to yourself. And then see if you can rewrite these as wishes for yourself. Because of course, the words that we would like to hear from others are qualities we would like to realize in our own lives or attitudes we wish to formally implant in our hearts. For example, it's possible that the reason I might like to hear I love you again and again it's because I might not be fully convinced that I am loved or am lovable. So I need to hear them. No shame in that. That's just a part of being human. So the question becomes, what do I want to know for sure? So you might reframe your words as a wish, a wish for yourself. For example, if you heard the words, I love you, that might be rewritten as the wish, may I love myself just as I am. Or may I know that I am loved. Or if you heard the words, I'm here for you, maybe that would be, maybe that would become a wish such as, may I be there for myself. May I live in connection. Or if you heard, you are a good person, perhaps the wish would become, may I know my own goodness. May I know my own goodness. Or may I accept myself. May I know I am accepted. 
So one more time, rewriting in your mind's eye what you've heard as a wish to yourself. Or if you like, you can of course leave it in its original form. So now imagine you are whispering these words into your own ear, just as if you were whispering them into the ear of a dear friend, as if you were whispering them into the ear of someone you love very much. So ever so slowly and gently, in your mind's eye, begin to whisper these words into your own ear saying them again and again. And when your mind wanders, you could always place your hand back over your heart or to another place on your body as a way of reminding yourself that you are the target. You are the one to whom you are offering this kindness and these words. Feel your own physical body and then offer yourself these words. Offering these words for this one body. Hear them in your own ear. And if you can, and if you like, really allow these words in. Let the words in deeply. Just like the flower absorbs the sunshine deep into every cell as nourishment. Allow these words to resonate within perhaps even allowing all of yourself to absorb them. If you like, and if it's comfortable hearing the words from the inside, hearing the echo and experiencing the echo again and again, deep inside your whole body, your entire being is surrounded by these loving words. Filling your being, if only for this one moment, just for now, letting them be so. And we'll repeat this for a few minutes in silence now. Just repeating those phrases and really deeply allowing them in.
And now gently release the phrases, just letting them go. You can always return to them. Allow yourself for a moment to rest in this experience. Allowing this practice to be just as it was, no more and no less. That alone is an act of self-compassion. Letting it be just as it was. And also allowing yourself to be just as you are, right here and right now, just like this. Considering that this activity might be only the beginning of a search for phrases that are just right for you. The beginning of a poetic journey an inner journey of opening and awakening to what is really real for you and offering that for yourself. And as you're ready, gently opening your eyes. And if you like, when you're ready, perhaps jotting a few things down. <clears throat> 